What's up, YouTube? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And if you're not having a wonderful day, then I hope your day gets better. So today, I'm going to be doing a all by myself video. Because I am terrible at DIY projects. I'm one of those people that like, I go on Pinterest or I go and watch like a vlogger on YouTube and they always have the coolest, easiest DIY projects and then I go home and I try and do them myself and they turn into a hot mess. I decided that it would be super fun to start filming me attempting DIY projects. Woohoo! And I decided to call them all by myself because I'm doing them all by myself with a little bit of help from my mom. Thanks, Mom. Today, we are going to be doing some dorm decor because I'm moving into a new room next year and I decided that I wanted to, it to be a different color scheme than my last room, which most of you, if you're moving into your dorm or you're moving into a new dorm or even just your bedroom and you decide you want a little bit of a change, I think these are really fun projects that you can do to um, kind of switch up the color scheme or switch up the style of your room. So if you want to see me attempt these DIY projects, hit the like button, and without further ado, let's get started. So for our first project, we're going to be making a throw pillowcase. Um, for this project, you are going to need up to a yard of fabric depending on the size of your pillow, a glue gun, lots of glue stick, liquid stitch, velcro, and scissors. But don't worry, if you forget, I'll put a link to the product below. Now, the first thing that I want to do is take my pillow and put it inside of the fabric, just to make sure that I have enough fabric. If I had any excess fabric, then I would cut that off, but thank God this is just right. So I'm going to toss my pillow to the side. Next thing I want to make sure is that the part that I want to be the top of the pillowcase is inside out because we're going to flip it inside out after we glue it and stick our pillow in there and we want to make sure that the design is on the inside. Um, now I'm going to take my glue gun and just do a line of thick glue on the very edge of the fabric. And make sure that you leave an open space at the top for where you would slide your pillow in. Because that would suck if you glued it all the way around and then kind of put your pillow in there. And make sure you don't get glue all over your hands like I did. <laughs> it's embarrassing. And then flip it around and do the other side. Let's be super generous with our glue. That's why we want to have a bunch of glue sticks, so that way we can use as much glue as we need, because we really want it to stick. And then after it's done gluing, I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit, and then flip it inside out. And look, you have a pillowcase! And see how it looks like we sewed it even though we clearly did not because sewing is difficult. Um, it's amazing. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the liquid stitch and just touch up some of the areas where it looks like it might not have stuck so well. That's why we want to use a lot of glue but liquid stitch is a godsend so definitely touch up those areas with that. Now I'm going to take my pillow and slide it right on in my pillowcase. Well, maybe. There we go. Slide in there. There you go. Then I'm going to attempt to make a flap for the Velcro. I realized that I probably shouldn't have glued it all the way to the top. So I did have to rip up a little bit just so that I could make the flap. So I'll make sure that you're aware of that. 
Oop. <laughs> then I'm going to fold it so that there's a clean edge, edge and use the liquid stitch to glue that down. In theory, the lines would be even, but yeah, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the other side. Maybe. This side seemed to be a lot harder because I was trying to make it even with the other side and it was just like, it was a lot more difficult than it looked. But I did it nonetheless. Now I'm going to cut some strips of Velcro and stick it to the flaps. I think I use like three strips for each pillow, but you can use as much or as little as you want or as little as will fit. This stuff is really easy because it's just like sticking on a sticker. Breath is down. And it turned out that to be a bit too big for my pillow, but nothing a little folding couldn't fix. And there we have it, my pillow. I made two of them and they're awesome. And this is what they look like on my bed. So the next project that we're going to be making is this lovely decorative vase. Um, for this project, you are going to need a glass bottle of any size or shape. Um, and various paints. So I have this black acrylic paint as well as this glittery translucent glass paint. I'm going to take the black paint and squeeze it on an index card and then take my paintbrush and just paint the whole thing black. I learned that because the paint was acrylic, it didn't go on so perfectly. So next time I'll use a glass paint with a sponge paint or a glass, non-translucent glass paint with um, a sponge brush just to eliminate some of those streaky marks. But this one still turned out pretty, so I don't mind. So after that I'm going to let that air dry for a little bit and then I'm going to take the glittery translucent glass paint and paint on top of the black base just to add some sparkles. The sparkles are awesome. And this time I am using a sponge brush just to eliminate some of the streakiness. And it looks streaky when you first put it on there because it is still wet, but it's not that streaky when it dries, and it actually looks really cool. The camera does not serve it justice, but there it is. And here's the finished product. So I took a fake flower from Michael's and just stuck it in there to make it a little bit more pretty. And there you go. Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed those DIYs. Let me know in the comments below if you guys um, test them out and try them and see if they work better for you than they worked for me or whatever. whatever. And know what other DIY projects and such that I could do to um, show you all by myself. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Yeah, thanks so much. This is my journey. Welcome to where? This is my journey. Welcome to my journey. This is my journey.